Yeah, hello, this is Ghana Decides, and um, we had a whole working group meeting, and we have two young men. Um, can you please introduce yourselves? My child is Karish, I don't know what it is. Again, I'm Dushua, I'm Ben Akwete. Okay. Um, I'm the co-president of Grace Twins Foundation, and this is the vice president of Grace Twins Foundation. And we are into, um, how do we call it, physically challenged people in a society. And we are working in collaboration with Voice of Ghana. And today we are very impressed about the, this, uh, how do we call the it, program the program that the went election. on. And today was the day I really learned a lot about um, how, how do you call it, it? Yeah. Facebook accounts, Twitter, uh, blogging, and so on. In fact, the program was educative and interesting. Okay, so how are you going to apply your new knowledge in social media to the operations of your organization? Okay, actually we have seen this as a great opportunity how to advertise our association on the internet for you to be able to get linked to people who will be willing to work with us. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so as we are going to raise uh, this year's elections, um, what do you see of Ghana's future? Oh, actually... The future, I think, is for the media. So through this media, we can we can apply our knowledge here by educating our people on the internet by using Twitter, Facebook to educate them that how to vote and how to go about the voting process. Uh, I think through this, Ghana is uh, has a brighter future. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have any message for your fellow youth? Okay. Actually, we will say our fellow youth out there. Actually, me, my little advice for them is. Now we are in a world where but the world is working freely in tomorrow anarchy. And then, so we must try to restore our integrity to fight for the country so that in future we should be able to get a better place. Ghana should be at a better place one day. Okay, thank you very much. Alright, hello. Good evening. Can you kindly introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Eli Aidam. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm Elvis Gomasa. I'm from Center for Creativity. Can you tell us a little bit about CCY? Well, CCY is basically a creative art resource center dedicated to the development of creative mobility in the Malta region. And uh, you came to Ghana Decides Working Group today. How did you find the workshop? Well, it was a very thought-provoking workshop and it has really taught us so much and how to make good use of uh, the social media platforms that we have around. And how to apply them in our daily activities. Yeah, so looking at the nature of today's training, uh, in what ways is Center for Creative is going to use social media in its everyday operations? Well, we've been taught how to blog, Facebook, Twitter, and all those platforms. So we're going to make sure that we have um, a page or create account with all these social platforms and then make sure that we put out everything that we are activity that we are undertaking out there so that a lot of people will be informed of what we are doing. Yeah, so uh, as you know, um, this project is about uh, harnessing social media conversations towards the 2012 elections. And uh, as you are moving towards the elections, uh, which is coming up in December, do you have any special message for Ghana's youth? Well, our message is on what peace. We have this Cry for Peace video, which is on um, YouTube. Uh, we would like everyone to take a look at and see what will happen if we fail to um, sustain the peace which is in the, our community. Okay, so um, you can check out um, CCY's um, YouTube page, www.youtube.com slash ccyghana, and then you see the great cry for peace video that they are. Thank you very much. Uh, today's workshop, Ghana Decides, in fact, is very, very important. It has exposed me a lot. And I, I have been seeing a whole lot of functions on the computer, but I don't know how to do it, like Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and the rest. But today, it has really proven to me that the world is really a global village. Because with all these things, we can communicate, link up with people not only in Ghana, but outside and before what has oh, Okay. So as an assembly woman, uh, do you think that these tools are important? Like the next time you are going to campaign for your position? 
Um, do you think you, you'll be able to use the tools? And which tool do you think will really work for you? This uh, is very, very uh, important. Let me put it that way. Because right now I can just be in my room. Whatever I wanted to uh, say about my community or the electoral area, I can just put it in maybe the uh, YouTube, then we'll take the video, the Twitter, and the Facebook for people outside to, to know what actually is going on. And it's going to help me in my uh, work or service. Okay, so as you are going towards the elections, 2012 elections, the big one, um, do you have any special message for Ghanaians in general? We are just only asked to use our town, but not report. So I pray that this election, we should all go for peaceful election. Go once and go to your room for all of us to live in peace. So my appeal is all Ghanaians, please let's fight for peaceful election. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Today, the thing we have from um, Blogging Ghana was very, uh, as shall I say, very useful uh, because it, yeah, in fact, introduces us to uh, the, the tools to your how to use social media, Twitter, um, um, uh, YouTube, and uh, the blogging, and all other things to promote the work we do. Actually, we do quite a lot of work, but sometimes we don't know much about these means as to how to reach out to the larger community or larger society. You know exactly what we do in our village or communities, and uh, this is another way we are going to, I mean, now reach out to people, to others, to know exactly what we are doing as organization. It is very useful and we thank uh, uh, blogging uh, for this uh, very uh, useful question. So thank you very much. Yeah, do you have anything to say to Ghanaians in general as you are going towards the elections? And what? Are the key issues for the people that the organization works with? Yeah, with us, we, we, we are promoting the uh, actually the active participation and inclusion of persons with disabilities in the electoral process in this uh, election, uh, this forthcoming election or during the election period. And uh, we have funding from Star Ghana to do this, just as a uh, blogging Ghana is also having some funding to do all these things and other activities. Um, our or my uh, advice during this election were to uh, the general, uh, to Ghanaian, special political parties, is we should always remember that we have one Ghana, and uh, war will never be, bring, what shall I say, we can't, we can't be targeting, uh, thinking I should, they should, the uh, political party should be thinking, they should by all means be a, a, win this election and pass through every possible means to, to, to bring about war, to bring about war, to create some sort of incite view for incite other people to, I mean, do things that they do not to do or they're supposed not to do. So what I'm trying to say is, let's go with peace. Let's accept the results of the, 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 the outcome of the election. Whoever wins should, should take it, or whoever loses should also take it in good faith and come for another uh, 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 four years to come, so that we all move in peace and develop better Ghana. Yeah, thank you very much, Francis. Thank you. I'm Prosper Koko from Nakwa District. Wait, uh, we came to the workshop at the Stephen Hotel here, and what actually I observed from Ghana beside uh, was that uh, we learned about the, the laptops. We learn about some things like Flickr, Facebook, and then Twitter. Whereby, if I also go back to my, my, my place, I will impart this to the other people who are disabled. And I will I tell them that uh, to be a disabled is not inability. We will also try to participate in the, the 2012 election, which we want peaceful election to come so that we, the disabled, in case if something happens, we cannot go to go to any other place or we can run. So the disabled also will take part in the election so that we will have free and fair election. Thank you. I am I am Joe Covey. I'm Nitzman Edemton, executive director of Kiss Foundation. From Radio Town, head of sports. I have been much impressed about what the size 
the training they've given us today in all tools that can make us uh, connect development uh, partners and friends in development and to champion uh, election 2012. I'm just too pleased about that. And as a radio presenter, this work shall really help me, and I'm also going to reach to help others to let them know that there are some things it's not that or it's not difficult that they cannot do they do they can do when it comes to facebook twitter like this most of the time people they find it difficult that is uh, uh, people who know computers they are the only people who can get access to it but through this version i know that not all the computer can uh, get access to it uh, through this training i've been given a strong capacity with Twitter, Facebook, uh, a whole lot of tools that will make me to communicate information, share information, get the ideas from people, and uh, promote our election 2012 election. So, fortunately, we are in election year. Anything happening or occurring in my area during election time, I can communicate to others at the other parts of the country. And uh, this training has given us the chance in a way that whatever will be happening anywhere, in any corner where we are, we can easily communicate to our friends, social, uh, friends in the social media, and, uh, so that we maintain the peace that we can today. I through this question, really, I know that I'm part of the global village. I'm no more isolated from the global village. You see, to know that I am also somebody who should champion the peace of Ghana and stability and sustenance of democracy in Ghana. So through this way, somebody also will benefit from me as I have benefited from Ghana decides.